OK, I thought I'd draw the mechanism for you, uh, the mechanism for raising and lowering the Beneteau 331 through 31 um, Oceanis class uh, lifting keel yachts. And uh, what we have is we have in it comes out through the saloon table it, at the top. We have the, the socket where we put the, the winch. The winch handle goes into this hexagonal drive here. Uh, and then underneath this, we have uh, a bearing race uh, like this, which bearings sit in. We have the bearings themselves. Uh, and then we have another race which the bearings sit in between this one and this one. Uh, and then we have the screw. And this is all one piece. These one, two and three, uh, these uh, bearings, stainless steel, they can be replaced. So this is one part that you would have to look at replacing. They're easy, easy, they easily come off. Now, then the next part is a plastic housing which slides up and covers uh the the bearings and the bearing races uh then you have the screw there's also another composite piece of plastic which slots up sits underneath there for your uh, uh centerboard housing in the saloon this piece here that screws to the top of the centerboard housing so this screw long screw here which you have to wind a hundred times to wind the um uh, the keel up or down this screw is stainless steel and it on on the end of it is a nut a brass nut which i've you'll see in my other videos and there's a notch in the brass nut this brass nut threads up and down this screw and inside here at this end it screws into a stainless steel shaft which the screw itself sits in it slides up and down inside this stainless steel tube which is forked at the end like this and it's all stainless steel this is a fork piece which sits inside here is the the keel mechanism itself the keel itself sits in there um we'll come to this in a minute but this brass nut is another component which needs replacing as it wears over time. It's a soft material brass. So there's, there's a brass nut. There's a slot here and there's a piece of steel, mild steel, welded onto the stainless here, which you can bend flat. And it sits into this notch in the brass nut to stop it from spinning. Now this brass nut, you have to, you'll notice on the end of this tube, this stainless steel tube, it's, it's got a thread on it. This brass nut screws down over the uh, onto that thread, and then you not you you push down on this stainless steel uh, chip here into the locating notch to stop this brass nut from spinning once you've screwed it on the end, and then this screw winds in and out of the brass screw up and down this tube here inside this tube. Centerboard is here. There's a couple of straps then that sit on the inside, one there and one there. And there's a pin, a stainless steel pin that goes through there with a spacer in between the two stainless steel straps. And there's a split pin through one end. This stainless steel pin needs to be checked and replaced. So do these stainless steel straps. And at the bottom of the stainless steel straps is another pin with a, a split pin. And this needs to be replaced. This pin here is the main attachment to the centerboard. Um, and this whole mechanism will, will go up and down with the 100 turns that you put um, on this screw here. Sounds all complicated, but really it's not. There's only a few moving parts that you need to replace, really. So you keep an eye on these bearings up here. For where, keep an eye on that uh, uh, thread there. Make sure that's that's good. Keep an eye on this brass nut. 
and then these straps. Now these straps have sacrificial have a sacrificial anode on on one of them, but I don't think it's enough. I think they should really come with two. So I'm going to put two on mine. Um, and you'll see in my other video what these items look like. You can buy this as a pack. You can buy, and it comes with this, this new stainless steel pin with the spacer and the split pin, all in one pack. So these are worth replacing, say, every five years. Uh, that's what I would do, and, and this split pin down here. Now, just to explain how this whole mechanism works, if we look at the, the um, underside of the boat, here's the keel housing. Now, the keel will have a main pivot bolt, which the keel stays in all of the time. Here's the keel. The, the, the keel stays in the boat all of the time with this main pivot bolt here, which you don't, don't need to take out. Uh, here's the centerboard. And these straps here fit either side of the keel, um, uh, the centerboard, excuse me, the centerboard. And I'm sure they, they must fit, I, I haven't seen precisely, but it's about there. I think it's about there where the split pin at the bottom, the pin, stainless steel pin at the bottom through both these straps goes through this point on the centerboard. So here's the straps, bottom of the straps, which run up to another pin here, which is this pin here, which goes through the T on this screw housing. And at the top, you've got the screw itself that runs up and down inside this housing. So one pin there, you've got a pin here, which fits through the centerboard. That's your main pivot bolt, which stays in the boat all the time. Um, and then as this, as you screw up and down the mechanism here, these straps will pull, pull this part of the keel up and it'll swing with this pivot bolt in place here. It swings like that into the underside of the boat. And as you wind that screw down a hundred turns, it pushes this part of the centerboard down and then that swings down like this. It's very simple. So anyway, this is your, your T at the top, and this is all your screw mechanism here inside your boat, which you can wind up and down. So that's how it works. Um, if you look at my other videos, you'll see what these two straps look like. Um, and I've, I've got some new ones to show you as well. And I can show you each one of these parts um, in more detail. Um, I've got one video where I have uh, the item that needs to be cleaned up as it came out of the boat, uh, although I've cleaned it a little bit, got most of the grease off. And then I'm going to do another video, a final one where I've replaced these parts and I've cleaned the whole thing up and it's all ready to go back into the boat.